things were getting very difficult in my home. Uh, my partner was getting more and more into marijuana and the day came when I had to leave my mountain home. And when I left my mountain home, we went down to the coast and a, um, the little church that we went to wasn't long before they discovered that I knew natural remedies and I'd been given meetings. So they got me to give meetings in their town and we had, we had about 60 people come to those meetings. And by then I was getting a lot more proficient at my, my presentations and the children were getting older. Some of them had already gone off to work, so I was still using the younger children. And then my daughter went to work at a health retreat in Queensland and trained in natural remedies. And it was probably within a year, the rest of the children and I decided to move up there. After we'd been there a year, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, the business manager asked me to marry him, which was Michael O'Neill. Michael is the, was, he'd been a business manager for many years. He'd started several health retreats and they lost their, um, supervisor in the health center. And I saw they were in a little bit of a fix. So I came in and said, would you like me to work part time as your supervisor? I don't think they realized that I knew natural remedies. After I'd worked there for a while, they realized that I knew quite a bit. And it was because of my experience, as I have just described to you. One day, my husband contacted me and he said, um, our naturopath has double booked. And there's a couple that have come all the way from Brisbane an hour and a half. He said, your daughter Julia tells me you're a naturopath. Now, I'm married to Michael and he <laughs> did not know. I guess I was quiet about it. It was an award that was awarded to me because of my work in the field. I did have a certificate. I hadn't actually done a course, but I, I was awarded it by the Thomsonian Institute because they had seen the work that I was doing. They had attended my lectures and they wanted to give me a certificate, I guess, as a representation of the, the knowledge that I had. So Michael says, your daughter Julia, she was 14 working in the office, she tells me that you're a naturopath. I said, oh, <laughs> of, of sorts. He said, would you mind coming down and consulting with this couple? Now, I didn't really want to because I was shy, but I also felt for this couple that had just traveled an hour and a half. And I also started to see that my shyness, I think, was a bit of selfishness. I was too busy thinking about what people would think. I wanted to know what God thought. And I knew that if God had asked me to do this, he would give me the ability to do it. So I came down and I went into the office and here was a couple, they were a quite wealthy couple. They'd come all the way from Sydney. The lady had a tumour. She'd already been through allopathic medicine and the tumour had shrunk a bit, but then it had grown again and they were getting frustrated with the side effects of the medication. So I went through the eight laws of health with them. I had read that these are the true remedies. I went through the pure air. I went through sunshine. I said, you can put sunshine every day on the tumour. I went through abstemishness. I inquired whether the lady drank alcohol, whether she had caffeine, whether she had refined sugar, and how they can feed cancer. Meat can feed cancer. So I went through these things with her. And then I went over to rest. Do you have early nights? Because it's while you're sleeping that the body doubles its ability to heal. I went through exercise, simple exercises she could do considering the tumour. I went through the plant-based diet. I inquired how much water she was drinking. I inquired in her trust in divine power that God has the ability to heal us. God has the ability to bring us peace and how stress can interfere with healing. 